ladies and gentlemen, due to the vote of your own. I guess that makes sense. We are, are beginning this FIFA 17 Manager Career Mode. My name is The Gaming Blake, and thank you so much for joining me. And a huge thank you to everybody who voted in the straw poll to help decide what team we are going to do. I think you guys have made a really good choice, and I think um, it's going to be great for the channel to do this first career mode of FIFA 17. By the way, if you guys want me to do a player career mode at some point, please let me know in the comments down below so that I can... I know that you want to see that. I know that I did that before with Arsenal. Maybe I'll do it with a different club this time. We're going to use a 60% increase. I don't really use the transfer network. But the club, that was decided by you guys in the straw poll, as you might already tell by the thumbnail, depending on how obvious I make it, is... The Barclays Premier League 2015-16 to 16 champions, Leicester City. Leicester City formed as Leicester Fosse in 1884 in a garden shed at a house in Fosse Road. Uh, they lifted a champion trophy, champions trophy one time. They provided the biggest shock in English football history when they won the Barclays Premier League in the 2015-2016 season. And we are about to do the double. We are going all the way with Leicester City. We're going to make some changes, not some drastic ones, but we're going to see what we can do with this team. Now, in terms of the manager, I was debating on doing uh, Claudio Ranieri as the manager, but I thought... Uh, since I want to do kind of a long-term thing, instead of maybe doing just one club, maybe after two or three seasons at Leicester, we can consider looking at job offers elsewhere, which I think makes sense. I'm going to go with this young-ish looking dude, but that's what I'm going to roll with. They're not rating the ginger people. Um, I know I said there'll probably be face cam. Unfortunately, there isn't. Um, it just caused the audio to lag ridiculously, and I, I couldn't deal with that, and I didn't really know... How to fix it. Anyway, the Champions League group here, as you can see, Leicester, Sevilla, Olympic Leon, and Mystique. That's quite a, a difficult group, if I do say so myself. So I'm going to load in, and I will see you guys on the other side. All right, so we are finally loaded in. I'm looking forward to getting this started. Be sure to leave a like if you guys enjoy. We're going to go to the German-European International Cup. Same one as I did in the first try at this. I have tried to record this before. I didn't make any signings or nothing, but um, I wanted to... Give it a go with the face cam, see how it works. Uh, face cam messed it up horribly. Anyway, we go to the office. Uh, look at these. None of these are important other than our visions and expectations. So let's get rid of this usual spam and let's have a look at this. Let's see what they want. Youth development. Sign one player to the senior team in the same season they were scouted. Play them in 10 matches, whether that be part of the starting 11 or off the sub bench. We are going to be using the scout, the future star. We want to find the future star of football, and that is exactly what we're going to do. And they want us to sign one player from the Youth Academy who is a midfielder. Fair enough. I like that we've got some nice youth objectives. Nothing for brand exposure. Always good. Don't have to worry about that. Long-term financial. Uh, within two seasons, increase your club worth by 15%. Um, sure. Not really sure how I go about doing that, but uh, we'll worry about that later to the time. Uh, domestic success, so short term, finishing the Euro spot. I think that's a reasonable target. Uh, something that they can achieve in real life, to be honest. They could they could win it again if they really went for it. I feel like Conte was a huge loss, and you can really see that. But they built the reinforcements. I feel like they can do what they want to do. They can do anything they want to do. Leicester City are incredible, man. I love Leicester. Um, and a continental success, reach the knockout stages. So basically, just playing in the knockout stage. Oh, they want us to get through the group. Shit, I didn't realise that. Okay, they want us to get through the group. I don't think they wanted that last time. But they want us to get through the group. So that should be an interesting test. And we also need to qualify for the Europa League. Um, that's only a medium, no. Most of it's medium, no high priorities, which is good. So now, um, people who watch my middle career mode know, uh, for the next things I like to do is find players to sell and then players to to buy and i will come up with a show uh, with a loan list and i will get back to you first things first ben a get out of my club don't know why you're still here um loan out these youngsters you guys are going to need to help me out with this cash for schmeichel and zelia uh a year two years difference between them cash for schmeichel's 81 rated and so is zelia i like schmeichel but do we need an 81 rated backup keeper? I'll happily play Schmeichel, but I can't sell Zelia, and Zelia is the younger keeper. He has room for growth. Let me know, should we sell Kasper Schmeichel? I think if the right offer came in, I'd be interested. 
looking in the center back position. Benaloon, no interest in keeping you. Uh, to be honest, we don't really need to keep anyone else other than the four main center backs of Hernandez, who where's more where's the tank Morgan? Uh, was it? And Walieski, who's on his final year of contract, he'll be fine as a backup option. Uh, then what we got? In the left-back position, we have Fuchs and we have Schlupp, who has room to grow. I might consider selling Fuchs. Um, I'll come back to it, though. Uh, Elders on a one-year loan. Ben Chilwell, showing great potential. 68 uh, rating and 19 years old. I'm going to send him out on a season-long loan. We don't need three people in the same position did i just make a mistake there did i just do something drastically wrong what did i just do did i just release him uh, i think i might have accidentally released him sick okay so we've tried that again um i had to reboot the save i accidentally released him probably should point out that for the moment my controller is broken my x button is slightly damaged and it's stuck um, which is obviously a pr obvious problem when you're playing FIFA. Better just address that now. A new controller is coming in soon, though, and I'm sure I'll let you know, guys know when I have that. Right back position. All we really have is Simpson, who I'm not interested in keeping, to be honest. So we need to look for right back as a priority. Moving on down the list here. We have the central players. Uh, Amate, I like. Great player. Uh, Childbury's out on loan. Mendy. Uh, hasn't really shown himself in real life for Leicester just yet, I don't think, personally. But uh, he's okay. Danny Drinkwater, great player, 26 years old, 80 rating. I think he's finally got a just rating, to be honest. Uh, Matty James would benefit from a year loan, I think. I uh, don't really need him in the squad as of yet. Bear in mind, guys, if you guys don't agree with any of this, you have the power to change it. You guys can see what I'm doing, but if there's anything you don't agree with, then don't worry about it. I won't do it. Uh... Get rid of this youngster now. The left mid position is interesting because I like Marco Brighton. Not the highest rated player. Probably won't grow that much. But I think he's a very decent player in his position. Um, then we have Damari Gray, who's young, fast, and has potential. But then also Kapuchka, who's quite quick. He's higher rated, younger, and stuff. So I think I'm going to put Gray on the loan list just for this season. And if it doesn't work... Then I'll scrap that idea. But uh, if I don't think so, then I'll scrap it. But to be honest, maybe one of these can go back up right midfield. Because we only have one right midfielder, and to be honest, we only need one. Riyad Mahrez, the man, the myth, the legend. Honestly, everyone will be talking about the Jamie Vardy show last season, but I'm pretty sure that this was a team effort, and Riyad Mahrez played a huge part in that team role. Now we look at the striking options. Usually in a career mode, the first thing that anybody wants to do is sign a striker. Do I want to do that? Not really. I mean, I might. I've got some ideas. But, to be honest, the, um, the only striker I'd consider getting rid of is a Joa, mainly because I think he's a great player. In real life, he's an absolute great player. I think he's a really good asset for any team. But uh, I think he's wasted on this team because he's competing against... The Asian beast, which isn't racist, I swear, of Shinji Okazaki, the Japanese wonder man. A, a brilliant goal he scored last season, I'm sure you all remember. Who's signing? Ahmed Musa, 23 years old, 78 rated, 95 acceleration. He is going to kill any defender that stands in his way. Similarly, similarly <laughs> to Slimani, who just came in as well. So two new strikers coming in this window. Don't think we need one. And then, of course, the man, the myth, the legend, the pride of England, Jamie Vardy, the one-a-man party. Uh, no intention of selling him whatsoever, so we're going to disallow bits if my X button would turn up. That's great, and that is all from this team. I'm not going to make too many drastic changes. I'm going to show you the short list in a second of what I'm thinking once I've, uh, once I've sorted it. But otherwise, I don't think I'm going to make that many changes to this squad. I'll I'll see you guys when I've come up with the short list. Right, so I did a little bit of looking around, and I've looked for some players that I think would be nice additions to the team. Firstly, we need a right back, and who better to have than Hector Bellerin when it comes to speed and stamina and agility. He is that kind of athletic kind of player which people tend to like. Why I'm anxious to sign him is because his natural defending ability is shit. 
And to be honest, I think a left back and a right back should have the same amount of defensive abilities if not a little bit more than the centre backs, because they need to make the chases back. They need to be in the right position at the right time, otherwise they're going to cost a goal. Which is why I think I'd prefer Nathaniel Klein. Quite a pacey player, a better player. Quite, uh, he's a little bit older, a bit more experienced, but his natural standing tackle and sliding tackle stats are much better than Hector Bellerin's. I think he'd be a better option. Again, let me know what you guys think. My other right back option, Carl Walker, similar. Um. In terms of Hector Bellerin, pushing forward, likes to press forward. However, um, yeah, however, um, Carl Walker, again, natural better defending stats, again, than Hector Bellerin. Uh, would I prefer him over to Klein? Maybe. We'll see what happens. Uh, João Cancelo, another good player, um, attacking-wise, similar to Hector Bellerin, young, potential, quite pacey, as you can see there, some of the popular stats up there with the acceleration sprint etc etc good attacking player i question his attack uh, his defensive ability to be honest but he can play right wing right mid he can play anywhere on that right hand side which is a very useful player to have in any team uh right midfield now this really bugs me a he's a striker why is he right midfield in this game fuck knows please tell me he can at least play there Yes, but Bree, Donald and Bolo, one of my favourite players from last year. A fantastic player to have on any team. And I think he'll be a very nice addition. I, even as a backup, a backup to Riyad Mahrez would not be a backup would not be a bad option, especially when it's Bree and Bolo who can play in multiple positions. Now, central midfielder, I think I'm looking for someone who's a natural passer of the hang on, I'm just making sure I've sent an inquiry in, yep. I'm looking for a natural passer of the ball, someone who's a naturally good central midfield player. But you can't help uh, but look at Yuri Tillemans. He's a fantastic player. He's got natural good shot power, which was pretty obvious in last year's game. But from last year, he was an incredible player, full of potential. He's Belgium, which makes him instantly glitched and one of the best players in the game. He's a very flexible player. He can play Cam, CM, CDM. Where he needs to play, he will play. And I like him. I think he's a good player. And plus, he grows to like 89, 90 potential. He is going to be the star of the future, and I'd love to get him on this Leicester City team. Another player, used to be one of the stars of the future, uh, reached his peak now, I feel, but I feel he'd be a good fit for this team, and that is Cesc Fabregas, a really good player in his prime. Uh, why do I want Cesc Fabregas? Um, well, I can see from the stats there, since we already know what his rating is, 91 long pass, 87 ball control, 86 crossing, 92 short passing. He is a natural passer of the ball, and that is what exactly what we're looking for in the midfield. Engolo Conte was such a crucial part of the team because he was such a natural passer of the ball. He let the offense flow through him. Similarly to what Mares did, and Vardy let what happened happened, and he finished the ball, and he did that more often than not, you tend to find. I think Cesar Bregas would be a great fit for this tw team. 29 years old, 86 rated. He could be the star this team is looking for. Similarly, we have Aaron Ramsey. Not the best pass from real life, but he's got some decent passing stats in this game. 85 short pass, 80 long pass, and 81 vision. But he is a more attacking player. He has that attacking mentality. And I like that about Aaron Ramsey in real life. Is he the most clinical? No. Not by a long shot. But I think he'd be a very, very good shout for this team. And it'd be an interesting one. Sticking at Arsenal, this is the mega signing. If we could pull off this duel, I 100% would give up anything. Meza Ozil has 93 vision, 84 long pass, and 89 short pass. Why is his passing worse than Fabregas? I don't really get that one. But one of the top assisters when he was at La Liga, one of the top assisters when he was at Arsenal, He's been a great player. I didn't like him at first. I didn't feel he contributed enough, and he missed a lot of chances. We'll all remember the penalty miss he had in the first season of the Champions League. But um, to be honest, this season we had to start without him, and you could see the difference. There was no real attacking prowess, and there's no real person who can create the chances like Mesut Ozil can. And I feel like he's a very valuable player for any team to have. High price tag. We do have the money, though. So we're going to see if we can make that deal happen. Another player I want to look at, Again, incredible passing stats. 
uh, depleting slightly, which is why I think this deal could happen. But 30-year-old Wayne Rooney, English captain, as much as this would make me cringe in real life, I would never sign Rooney in real life. I think he's long past it, to be honest. Uh, but again, great passing stats, a natural attacking-minded player, which is very decent. I think he'd be a great addition. A natural leader to lead... What's quite a young side, with the exception to Hoof and Morgan, it's quite a young um, uh, Leicester side. That may not be true, but you get one. You get what I'm aiming at. Any other midfielders? Vladkav Kearney, another look for a backup right midfield option. 18 years old, tons of potential. Vladkav Kearney, a great player. I used him last year, and the biggest problem was his stamina. So I'm hoping that his stamina stats will have improved. If not, we can train it. No big deal. He won't be playing heavy first team minutes, but he'd be a good option. And now I think, yeah, I was looking at strikers that I would sign. And there are only th there are three that I would sign. One of them is Mbolo, so he's already off the table as a striking option. But the two strikers there, Marcus Rashford and Kalichi Iannaccio, two of the rising stars of the future. Marcus Rashford, who has made a big impact in, in football already. In English football, he's a hero, playing for England, scoring for England. He's been a big, big impact for the England team, and I think he's got a bright future ahead of him. I doubted him at first. But I think Alex Hunt has got a quite a decent future here, that <laughs> has to be said. And I don't think anyone will forget Marcus Rashford as of right now. Someone who gets less limelight but doesn't deserve, uh, less of the spotlight, but he does, doesn't, doesn't really deserve it. And that is Kalichi Iannaccio. I like him. When he's on the pitch, nine times out of ten, or maybe eight times out of ten, he will score a goal. He's a fantastic natural finisher. He's pacey. He's athletic. He has the natural striking ability as well. He's starting to get some minutes for, for Man City now. And the obvious reasons, he's a fantastic player. And I think he'd like to come here and play some more minutes. Uh, again, striking, I'm a little bit concerned with. I've inquired and I'm going to make some offers. What we're going to do now, we are going to make some offers to make this a bit more interesting. I'm not going to do anything in this first episode. Next episode, we are going to skip through the uh, preseason tournament. But we're going to make some more signings and hopefully get ready for the uh, opening day of the season. So we are going to make the change that we need to. But like I say, we're not going to make too many changes I feel like so um, yeah so let me see him ahead and we'll see what happens in terms of offers and transfers so we've got five inquiries replies so far Jao Cancelo 19 and a half million that is interesting but I don't care give me 10 I'll give you 10 million for Jao Cancelo let's just try and low ball them as much as possible Yuri Tillyman 17 million last year you could get him for about eight I doubt I can pull that off again this year. I'm going to offer again 10 million, but he's a player I'd definitely be worth uh, definitely be worth investing the money into 100%. Marcus Rashford, 13 million? Jeez, that is well cheap. I'm going to chuck 10 million again. 10 million for Marcus Rashford. That would be a great deal. Uh, Bellerin, 21. Ouch. Uh, let me chuck 15 Arsenal's way. Do I think that's going to happen? Probably not. An interesting deal. But like I said, he has potential. He's young and he has potential to be a decent defender. 29, nearly 30 million for Nathaniel Klein. That is freaking hilarious. Let's take 10 mil off that price tag and I'll consider it. Like I say, the Klein's a better defender all around than Bellerin. But for that money, I'm not interested. <coughs> Another four inquiries. Only 2.4 million for Vlad Kafkiani. That is very, very nice. I'm going to offer one and a half million, and they probably should accept that. He'd be a very nice backup addition to um, to the main man himself, of course, uh, Riyad Mahrez. Fourteen and a half million for Kalichi Iannaccio. I'm going to offer ten, same as I did with Rashford. Uh, might accept we're lowballing them for about four and a half million, five million ish in that region. Uh, Umbolo. Oh, what? Oh, for fucks! I didn't even notice he had moved. Ah, oh, shit. Well, it makes sense in real life, but fuck, that would have been a great signing. Oh, well, no Mbola. 27 million for Carl Walker. Get the fuck out of here. He's a Spurs player. He ain't that good. Right, we're going to sim this first game against Spartak. Uh, didn't think we would, but we're going to. Pray for no injuries. 2-1 win. Are you fucking... I swear to God, if that's a long-term injury, I'm going to be pissed. 
Four weeks. Fuck. He's out for preseason. I think he'll make it back for the opening day. But that's that's a piss take. Right, I'm going to start looking at making some inquiries into the central midfield players because I forgot I didn't make any inquiries into them. We're going to offer Cesc Fabregas a face, his face value of 31 million. I think that's a reasonable deal, to be honest. Uh, I think they'll consider it. I don't know if they'll go through with it, but they probably... They, I think it's a reasonable deal. Uh, Aaron Ramsey. Again, we're going to offer a face value of 30 million. I think that's pretty nice. They're saying it's between 35 and 40 million up there. I think that'll be a, a decent offer to just to get the ball rolling. Meza Ozil. I'm going to start with 60. Straight up, want to get this done. He's worth 58 million. They say he's between 69 and 79, which is realistic. We probably have to offer a player in a trade to pull him. We'll see what happens. Wayne Rooney, 22.5 million. They say he's about 28.5 million. I'm going to offer 22. Yeah, we'll offer his face value. 22.5 million. See if they bite on that. To be honest, they don't really need Rooney. Uh, he's a great leader role, don't get me wrong. But uh, I don't think they really need Wayne Rooney. Uh, Vlad Kakuni. And that's uh, that's all there. No, no longer interested in Carl Walker. And Mbolo gone as well. Right, so the first round of offers have been looked at. Uh, Nathaniel Klein, they want 29.5 million. They're pretty... Stuck on that one. Let's go 22 and a half. Same price tag as Wayne Rooney. To be honest, I think he'd be a much more valuable asset to the team. Uh, Arsenal, 21 million for Hector Bellerin. Oh, they're very tight this year, aren't they? Let's go 17 and a half million for Hector Bellerin. Let's just try and, like I say, we're just trying to con a couple of people here. And the Lech wants 17 million for the Yori team match. Perfectly understandable, but can I off interest you in a deal of 13 million? I think they might bite on that, to be honest. Uh, we'll have a look at that. Uh, Vlakev Kearney. Oh, someone's matched his face value. Oh, which means we're going to have to do the same. If you guys don't want me to do it, let me know. I won't make any signings before the next video. So if you want to comment on the particular subject, um, then please do. We're going to offer the 50k more than the fuckers that asked for him at 2.1, which was Legans. We're going to offer that 50 Okay, extra, and see what happens. Keep simming forward to get some more offers. Uh, I apologize if this is a long video. Holy shit! We got Iron Nacho and Rashford accepted for 10 million? Oh, we're gonna have to sign one of these guys, man. Question is, are they gonna come on squad rotation rules? Because that's all I'm willing to offer. If one of them accepts, I'll consider it. If both of them accept, then you guys are going to have to vote. Do you want to see Marcus Rashford come to the club? Or do you want to see Kalichi Iannaccio come to the club? That's if they both accept. I don't know if they'll take the uh, squad rotation deals. We will have to wait and see. Also in talks with Sunderland. 12 million. Uh, I've offered more than that, okay. Also in talks with Dijon. Yeah, I've offered more than that as well. And also in talks with Montpellier. Oh, god damn it! Fuck off, Montpellier! Okay, once again, we're going to send another offer. Kearney's way. Probably not even going to hear from him at the end of this episode. Jesus Christ. Uh, 2.3.5 million. Fuck me, dude. I didn't think that... He, uh, I guess he makes sense, but... Uh, yeah, I guess I wasn't really expecting that. Number two. Uh, if we win, great. More money. But if not, not fast. We got shats on pretty much. Uh, no, it was only 2-0. But to be honest, you know, not scoring, in my opinion, you, you've been battered for a game. Uh, Man United, they want $44 million for Wayne Rooney. Now, let's not be ridiculous here. I feel like you're asking me for way too much. Here. You're asking for nearly double his value, dudes. Come on. Uh, Jao Cancelo, $19.5 million. E 13. Not really interested to be on in Cancelo. If it happens, it happens. I don't know. I think he'd be a realistic signing for Leicester. Leicester should consider someone like that. I'm going to do training and stuff uh, at a later date. You guys are pretty much... This is pretty much going to be a live comedy. Hang on. One offer has been accepted. Oh, I was hoping it was Ozil. Is Ozil... Is Ozil come back? 100 and... F Fuck, dude. All right. All I can really offer is 69... And a half million plus a player of value. Danny, I think that would be a willing sacrifice. That's all I can offer. If they don't accept that, then it's over. 
with Mesa Ozil. 52 million. The prices of players. Fuck you, Pogba, man. You really fucked up the market this year. Let's go 40. I reckon that could seal the deal, to be honest. Meet you halfway. Come on, Arsenal. Come on. Uh, Saspabrigas. 59 and a half. Milly. Let's go... 40 again. Fuck it. If Ramsey's worth 40, Fabregas is worth 40. Um, I feel like I'm playing a bit much, but price is willing to be made. I right. Liverpool, let's not beat around the bush. 25 million. That is where I am willing to leave it, to be honest. I don't think he's worth 30 million in real life. 17 and a half million, except for Hector Bellerin. We can look to seal this deal pretty quickly. Uh... Again, I won't make any offer, uh, won't make any acceptance until uh, the next episode. Because if you guys are cool with it, then you don't have to say anything in the comments. If you want to say that, yeah, you should sign this guy or that guy, then do so. Do then do do so in the comments. Uh, but if not, I'm gonna go ahead with the deals. Now we have some decisions to make. Ian Nacho has accepted the deal. Vladkov Kuni has accepted. Uh, they've accepted the offer for Vladkov Kuni. He wants 8k. <laughs> Piss easy wages, and he'll take a squad rotation role, which I'm more than happy to give him. Uh, he's a nice fit. Yuri Tillemans, my boy, has accepted. Uh, can I click on it? Thank you. 20k he wants, a lot more than what he wanted last year. Uh, Four-year deal. He wants a... He's probably going to want a crucial first year. Do you know what? I won't offer him a, a specific role. I'd be happy to give him uh, a crucial first team player, to be honest. But I don't know how that happened. Right, we're going to wrap up this uh, this episode pretty soon because offers are starting to come in. Once we've played this final game, if we progress in the group stage, that's fine. But we're going to do this final simulation and let the final offers come in. Right, Rooney, they want 44 mil. I'll come back to it if I want to. Marcus Rashford also <laughs> accepted the deal. So now, guys, it is down to you. Do I sign one of them? Do I sign Rashford? Do I sign Iannaccio? Or do I sign Naiva? Let me know, please, in the comments down below. Your interaction is really going to help with this series. I'm going to stall all the offers for now. Uh, loads of offers coming in for Vladkav Kierney. I'm glad we can try and pick him up here. Uh, final preseason game uh, against Bayern Leverkusen. We're going to give that a go. See how it goes. Three, two, one. Nil, nil draw. I'm pretty sure that kicks us out of the tournament. Uh, confirmation... Nathaniel Klein accepted 25 million. Great stuff. Uh, him or Bellerin, though? Bellerin's going to be a lot cheaper, and he has room to grow. Whereas Nathaniel Klein will grow, maybe not as high as Hector Bellerin. Uh, Jao can sell it. Do you know what? We've got right backs in options. Uh, 2.1. I don't need to know every time someone's got a lower bid than me. Uh, they're unfortunate they didn't reach the cup finals. They don't be pissed at me. Right, we've got Community Shun, which we will be playing in the next episode. So I'm going to sim a little bit more, just uh, like two or three more days, and then we will leave it there, and you guys in the comments can let me know what you want me to do. Uh, sorry if this episode is really long. Meza Ozil, that deal's not happening. Uh, most I can do now is offer everything in we got. Everything we got. 71 and a half million for Mesut Ozil. If not, we're going to have to walk, which we probably will. But Aaron Ramsey has accepted 40 mil. That's a deal. Uh, do we have the wages to pull this off? Yes, we do. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Come on. Uh, I was about to rip off A9 skills there. I'm not going to get myself done for copyright. Bellerin's accepted the contract. Steely Man has accepted the contract. We now have four offers. Please let me know, guys, in the, in the comments what you want me to do. I need your help very, very desperately. Uh, wait. Okay, we're running. We're gonna probably run out of time. Vladkav Kierney has accepted. Fabregas will come back to. Right, I'm gonna see him one more day, and then we're gonna leave it there. See if anything else comes in. If Daniel crying like, so we have these offers, guys. Let me know what you want me to do in the comments down below. Your your opinions really do matter. So do we sign? We have six people on the table here. We have no off. Uh, Yuri Tillemans. We have Marcus Rashford. We have Hector Bellerin. We have Nathaniel Klein. We have Vlad Kierney, and we have Kalichi Iannaccio. Let me know who you want me to sign, who you don't want me to sign, and I will be sure to do that 
in the next episode. But until then, thank you guys so much for watching and supporting this series. It's going to mean so much. Hopefully, we're going to have a great time doing this series. And that is it for me today. Peace.